in order to perfect your craft, you have to not give up. You have to constantly do it. Like this tip that I'm about to give you, you can't just try it one time and be like, oh, I didn't get it. You have to keep on doing it. And I can guarantee you, once you keep doing it, if you continue to do it and apply it to every braid that you do, you're gonna get it. It's gonna, your braid is, I can guarantee you, your braids will come out looking beautiful. Ignore them. I'm trying to record and they crying and calling me. What, I'm trying to record. Some love to the mall. Put a couple cabos and a hundred fucking dimes. Color slaughter gang, you get your shit paw. Drink up with a drum, this bitch ain't never go stop. Be on that night, boy, she slaughter gang, she. Hey, what's up? In this video, I want to share with you how I am able to get my braids to be neat and keep that consistency throughout the entire style. So if you're interested in perfecting your craft, then this video is for you. Keep watching. Also, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will start uploading a lot more. I'm not going to put out like a specific time just yet because I'm still working on a, a lot of things. If you love braids, if you love wigs, if you love braided wigs, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So when you're braiding your braid, you want to be sure that your grip with the weave is extremely tight on your fingers. And then once you have your grip, you split the hair into three to even out with the three strands that you have here. So you pull one, you pull one in the middle, and then you pull one on the other end. And you just bring each end into the middle. And be sure to have a nice firm hold or a nice firm press onto the person's head but not too tight to where you just want to pull their brains out okay but a firm enough grip to where your braid stays in place and you just keep your fingers nice and close you've been running circles let me Braiding is something that I've been doing since I was in elementary. Not, of course, not professionally, but you know, it's something that I've been doing since I was in elementary. And I remember at, when I was learning at the time, I was sitting down and I did a braid and I, you know, I was proud of it. So I showed it to my sister and then she looked at it and she was like, you did good, you know, it's, it looks nice. But she explained to me what I needed to do in order for my braid to be nice and firm and the way that it comes out today. Yeah. I got a thing for bitches. I got a thing for bitches. I don't really hang with bitches. Really hang. No. But if you see when I did it and I got it, I was like I was really impressed with the way that it looked, you know? And at that time, I wasn't even burning, you know? It, it was just braiding, just straight braiding and dipping in hot water. Somebody left in the comment section below, people still burn, hello? People still dip, people been dipping the hair in hot water since 
1990s, probably before that, you know, but 90s, that's around my time. People have been dipping hair since then, and they still dipping it now, 2018. All the sorries in the world could never help me shake this damage done After you, I never see the truth the same, so I've become for a while I want you to come back to this video leave me a comment below and let me know if it helped you in perfecting your braid let me or you can just let me know how you're how you're progressing with your braiding okay I would like to hear how things are going for you in your braid journey and especially if my tip was able to help you okay all right guys thank you so so much for watching I really appreciate it if you found this video to be helpful to you or if you plan on using this tip to perfect your craft, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and be sure to share it with friends and family. I can't be driving no regular cars. The bitch gotta come with a button. I was broke like a wild bat. Now